Good morning, I'm Gloria Guidetti. I work uh, in the University of Bologna and uh, now I will present you my uh, PhD work and uh, I try to synthesize uh, titanium dioxide and graphene uh, nanocomposite uh, for uh, environmental remediation because uh, uh, we use the graphene to enhance uh, the uh, performance of titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide can easily interact with uh, organic and inorganic volatile pollutant and bring them to photodegradate. And uh, we try to um, synthesize the composite with different uh, graphene source, like uh, graphene oxide, reduced graphene oxide, and water suspension uh, of uh, graphene, and also with graphene flakes. And uh, in the end, we found that, that the most promising uh, photocatalyst was obtained by direct sonication of uh, graphite with titanium dioxide nanoparticle in water solution. We tested the performance of uh, the photocatalyst with uh, two molecules that are fluorescein and rhodamine that can mimic the behavior of uh, organics uh, inside uh, of the environment. And uh, we performed this uh, very easy test by using a UV irradiation lamp and uh, measuring the rate of uh, the dye that was left inside of the solution. And uh, in the end, we found that the most promising uh, composite was obtained by direct sonication of titanium dioxide and graphene and graphite, and uh, the performance was announced by uh, more or less the 30%. And uh, we also observed the adsorption of dye on the top uh, of the catalyst in order to measure uh, the stability of the composite at, uh, when it interacts uh, with uh, organics. And uh, we were uh, very surprised to obtain this kind of uh, strong, uh, um, strong results. Yeah. And then we go through the characterization of uh, the composite. And uh, we follow the sonication of uh, graphite with titanium dioxide with uh, SEM, cryotm, and uh, with SEM, cryotm, and TEM, dry TEM. And uh, we found that the interaction involving the SU subunit uh, at the beginning uh, is uh, at the edge of uh, graphite and then uh, the interaction was through uh, with the intercalation of titanium dioxide in the crystal lattice of, of uh, graphite. So here you can see that titanium dioxide is going through the structure of uh, graf uh, graphite provoking the exfoliation of, um, of a graphene layer. And this is a cryon time image and here you can see this is a, a graphite flakes that is perpendicular to the observer and here you can see that it is, uh, it is opening. So titanium dioxide is intercalating inside uh, of the crystal lattice. We go through the characterization of the mechanism involving titanium dioxide and graphene. And uh, here you can see that uh, the, for the first time we could prove that uh, there is an electron transfer between uh, uh, graphene and titanium dioxide. So this is a peak of assertion that is appearing in the case of the presence of uh, graphene. And uh, this uh, strong absorption reveals uh, the presence of an electron transfer between, between uh, titanium dioxide and graphene. What this means? This means, uh, if you go in, the, in this picture, that uh, if the electron goes in the surface of graphene, the hole is able to react uh, with water in the environment. And this produces oxygen reactive species that can easily photodegradate the pollutant. In the end, we also find the application of this kind of composite because we patent it in collaboration with other company and thanks to the Graphene flagship project. And so now we are able to have a handable material based on graphene.